this guy right now. <laughs> Feels like Christmas, even though it's October. Check it out, my buddy Daryl. Got me the Nintendo SNES. We're working on uh, uh, some custom work, so stay tuned for that. See? See? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, this is this is cool, man. So, and it's, it's also nice to meet people locally who are in action figures because I don't know anybody now. I just made a new friend. We're gonna see a shopping and hunting together. He's gonna go hunting. He's gonna be. He's gonna, <laughs> he's gonna get sick of me in like two days. Come on, man, stop calling me. <laughs> see you guys soon. Bye, guys. This cool guy right there decided to take my offer on a custom for SNES Classic. YouTube, welcome back to another 978 Customs video, and right now we have Hybrid Deadpool. This was a kind of commission custom trade for that SNES that we just saw a minute ago for my buddy Daryl. I made this two times before, but he wanted me to make this one a little different. He wanted the spikes on the legs and the belt. And I said, why not? I was happy to do it. I was happy to have the SNES. He actually brought it to me before I even made the custom, and he drove down to me. So I appreciate that. Here's the SNES. But... I decided to just add the black symbiotic lines also on the yellow on the yellow leg just to kind of uh, match the phage that I already had made. And I'll pull them all up together in a few, but I have to say I really do like this custom a lot and I, I'm, I'm happy I did put the belt on and the, the spikes on the legs because it just makes it more comic accurate. And to be honest, when I line them up with the rest of the symbiotes that I have, it, it just they, he looks amazing. So I almost want to keep them. Or I almost want to get rid of the other two and, and make a deal with Daryl somehow because, man, they'll look good on his shelf. And he just showed me this Ikea shelf he got, so they'll look good in there. For now, I hope he enjoys this figure because I believe it's the best out of the three that I made so far. This was the same process I took to make the other two. Um, I just made the belt. He actually requested it, so I said, yeah, I could do that. It's pretty simple. And the same with the spikes. And I just sculpted everything, the spikes and the belt. I, I figured it'd be really easy to do and it would set it apart from the other two so I was really happy to do that well I was happy how the uh, belt came out but it's funny because when I painted the belt the first time or the the circle logo part I actually did the, the colors inverted that tells you I'm not even that much of a Deadpool guy to even know exactly what his logo looks like so wherever you see black was red and wherever it was red was black and then I noticed and I was like this looks funny and um, so I just had to redo it again I actually have some pics of it take a look Black on the outside and red on the inside looked kind of funny. So I had to go back to the reference shot and I was like, yeah, I knew I had a, I made a mistake, definitely. And so I started off with the head, of course. Mainly, I usually do that first. No tongue on this one. Then I sculpted the spikes on the leg and I wiped off all the paint that Hasbro put on. Um, sanded down around the joints, of course, and then painted them both, one black, one green. The green's still a bit dark right now. Left up a torso red, no paint, it's just factory molded plastic. Then I added the yellow paint on the leg, followed by the symbiotic black goo that covers the spikes as well. Then I had to do the purple leg. Once that was done, I wanted to take some cooler pics. I lightened up the green arm a bit. I have it lightened on the top and then darkened on the bottom. And I was kind of happy with how it was coming out. I did sculpt the tongue, but I didn't have time to put it on, so I'm going to make it and then send it out afterwards. And this shot makes me wish I had a diorama that just uh, complemented the shot a little better, but I do like it, man. It, it, it's pretty nice. You see Deadpool slashed up all the symbiotes, and that's how they got attached to them. Cool thing is, all the appendages do match the other symbiotes in color, except Brian. He's a little blue and gray, where the arm is black. So hybrid Deadpool after defeating four out of five of the symbiotes on his way to take out Scream later to fight Carnage. But let's compare him up to the other symbiotes that I've previously made and see how he pulls up. Lasher, Deadpool, Phage all look great together. I have to admit it. I don't know. I wanted to make all of these guys and then present it in a video and do a what if Hasbro made a wave of the symbiotes. I know a lot of people would buy his riot right here. Again, I haven't really reviewed any of these. I have. I have reviewed Phage, actually. I haven't reviewed Lasher or uh, Phage. If you're wondering why Lasher's even there, it's because I had him on eBay. A buyer bought him, but he didn't pay for it. And so we ended up canceling the whole thing, and I ended up keeping it. And I'm happy I did. 
because I want to present all these symbiotes together. I'm going to finish Scream soon, so stay tuned for that. But Riot's a little big. He's giving me a hard time. I have one hand right now, so... But I don't know. I think just the primary colors on all these things just pop. They really pop. Oh. <laughs> Shamelessly moving on to my favorite part, of course, the articulation. The knees bend. You can articulate that still. Arms go up as well. The paint is in there pretty good. Um, the only part I will have concern with are these spikes here. I want to say be careful when you turn the thigh because this spike may break if you're not holding it the right way. So I put my thumb on the knee and then just twist the thigh that way and you'll be able to turn it. Well, YouTube, as always, if you like this video and you want to see more Spider-Man customs, feel free to like this video, comment down below, let me know what you want to see next. Feel free to subscribe, share this around with your friends. Uh, we will be doing a new list very soon, so stay tuned for that. Oh, let me pick this guy up really quick. I will be doing the Venomverse figures, um, some customs of, of the Venomverse anyway, but I'm going to knock out some Spider-Verse first. And then I get into the Venomverse. Uh, it's still really early to get into that. But here's Deadpool, a symbiote. That'll look good on a Venomverse shelf. Enjoy. Hybrid Deadpool. Very excited to have it. Been wanting this guy since I saw him made the first time. So I finally got one. Extremely excited. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm happy to have this SNES classic. I'm going to hack this first chance I get. Shout out to Daryl and Steve.